Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Jeff Deloach. Huntington Beach Sports Center and world-famous Huntington Beach, California. Surf City. Good morning. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, who redeems us back to the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit that sanctifies us and justifies us unto all good works. Heavenly Father, bless this message, the ears that hear it. Let's come in a humble and contrite spirit to know Him, understand Him, and give our walk some lively steps in love. Amen. Um, let me turn around. Oh. Hello, good morning. All right, well, the last message I was in, Peter, I was talking about old Simon, Rabbi Simon Jacobson. Um, you might want to pull him up. He has some interesting messages and in a um, different perspective. He's got, he's got a very Jewish perspective and it's um, uplifting to me right now. So um, I'm just going to keep going in First Peter. It's, there's some good stuff here. Um, it talks about Israel as a holy priesthood. And um, it's been settling. The, the, the word priest has been coming up a lot lately. There's been, there's a lot of talk about, um, there's no priests here anymore. There's no, you know, there shouldn't be anyone standing between you and God. So you think of the Catholic, um, idea of priest and, um, intercessor between you and the heavenly father through mother Mary or whatever they do. But, um, as Israel, we see ourselves as a priesthood because we were we were chosen out of mankind for a job of service, a job of um, sacrifice. We were sent here. Um, well, we could talk about. The angels, you know, the fall, fallen angels. I've talked about this all the time. Um, fallen, the the wrong translation. Um, sent down, sent sent down on a mission. Um, fell out of our heavenly places to reside in a more earthly place for a reason, for a mission, for a job, a job description, <laughs> a career. Um, a lifestyle, a life, get a life, get down there and show these, show these humans who I am. And that's the way I see this priesthood is we're not of this place, but being that we're here, understanding it through our creator and through the word and showing his light through us is such a, such an honor. And, um, I think that's where, um, Hebrew Israelism misses the point. Um, they give all honors and praises to their teachers of great millstone or whoever they are, they bow to their, to the men. And, um, that doesn't fit the Bible. So I just wanted to, before I start on this, these verses, I wanted to kind of 
throw in what I've learned or how I look at this holy priesthood. So it's First Peter chapter 2, verse 4, and it reads, To whom coming, this is talking about our Lord, to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. That's us. Um, we should lay out, aside all guile, um, evil speakings, envies. Um, if so be, you have tasted that the Lord is gracious. Um, he gave us these assignments. I think because <clears throat> we were rebellious, rude, um, stiff-necked, stubborn, and now <clears throat> we're humbling ourselves and we're realizing the graciousness of our Heavenly Father and through Jesus Christ, we know that, man... If he, if he loves his creation this much and he chose us to do this job, that's a that's an honor. And to do that the best we can and to bring this love into the world, it's not easy because we've seen both sides. So I'm going to just read. Um, yet also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. That's what I was just saying. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. What do we believe about him? We believe that he's the son of God. We, we believe that he has, he's not like us. He was, he's like us. He came in the flesh, but he's the son of God. He's He's the first of the of all that will be saved, right? He's. I'll just continue reading. The Bible says it best. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. So we, we're starting to understand that part of this teaching of Islam, this teaching of Catholicism, this teaching of Hebrew Israelism, this teaching of Mormonism, ism, ism, ism. Uh, they were appointed to do these things to test spirits and to, to test the creation, the, the men on the earth, to see what part of themselves is holy and which part of themselves is defiled and, and disillusioned and, and deceived. They're appointed to do that. And that's why we can't say fallen angel. We can't say um, some of these things we say, these giants, these the, the, the mistranslations of what these people that are appointed to be wrong, these Hebrew Israelites or whoever they are, they're appointed to do that. Um, and as we get to the end of this little section, the point of the lesson will, will come forth. Um, what what this all means. Um, whereunto also they were appointed. They were chosen to do that. But you and me, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people but are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have attained mercy. 
So we're this chosen generation, this royal priesthood, um, a peculiar people. And a peculiar people is um, a special people. Um, that we should show praises of him that has called us out of the darkness and into the marvelous light. And we were not his people, but now we are his people because we've obtained this mercy. He's had mercy on us. And that mercy, that love that he's shown us has um, opened our eyes to, to who he really is, the love that he has shown. What a merciful, loving, gracious God we have. At one time we were wicked, uh, corrupt. We were um, not following his his love, his, his statutes. In fact, we ran the other way as a rebellious, stiff necked bunch of goofballs. And, um, stepping a different way, showing forth. In love and sacrifice and faith. That's a powerful thing. A lot of people won't understand it, and it, it says that in the next couple of verses. And then I'll um, we'll talk about it, and I'll close out. Um, verse 11, 1 Peter, um, the second chapter, verse 11. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, lusts which war against the soul. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims. Is this is this our home? We were sent here. We were ascribed to this. We were conscripted to this. We were sent here. We we're sent down um, as strangers here. We know this isn't our home as Israel. And so he says, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. Verse 12, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Power. Power. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, showing them we're a truthful nation with love, but without compromise. You don't have to believe me. But I would love if you did because it's the truth. I would love if you knew your creator. I know him. I know some things about him that I could tell you so that you would not speak against me. You would not mistrust me. But all I can do is hope and pray for you that you understand that I'm telling you the truth. Having your conversation honest among the Gentiles that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that Jeff Deloach, J.D. Nyjah, He's a weirdo. He doesn't know if he's a Christian, a Jew, a Hebrew, a Baptist, or a born-again Calvary Christian. He's all mixed up. No. I just want a good, solid soup. I want it to be Flavored with truth, flavored with love, flavored with the glory of our, our creator. Stirred well, mixed, 
and served hot and tasty. With honesty. Um, whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may, by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Um, they are going to see. And that's where, as these pilgrims, these strangers that we are as Israel, um, as believers, as true believers, which are grafted into that branch, you churches that um, aren't sure, oh yeah, you're just as important as us because you are Israel grafted in. And that's where these Hebrew Israelites are just dumb as rocks. They don't get it. I might be one of the... I'm thinking at the, at the end of the day when... When we see who I, who, what my spirit really was. Um, one of the most rebellious of the first fruits. Stepped away from the family. But with the most boldness. And was put into this. Lost place for a long time. Searching and, and getting tossed and turned because. The Lord just didn't know what, how to, how to, how to make me what I am today. He's like, damn, this one's, this one's something else. He's one of mine. He's a Benjamin of Judah. And I feel that way. I feel very strange. Um, and as like a pilgrim, a little bit alone, a little bit like, um, Someone on a on a lost shore or something, but anyhow, um, that they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. When when they see God through the prism of us, or they see us through the prism of God, when they really see it. When he comes and they go, oh, wow. I remember my brother Steve or my brother Art or my sister told me these great things about you. And we'll all be singing. Yeah, about you. And that will be, will be these prisms of light that went before us, went before the Lord. We are that prism of light that, that shined here and caught their eye, shined there and caught their eye, that sound caught their ear. And that's an honor. That this is for any of you that are not just learning this word, but trying to walk this word out with friends, family, enemies, whoever. We're in this place and in these these spirits are all around us. They're they're spirits and human bodies. And we, we have this honor and this service and to revel in that once in a while and say, you know what? I trust. I trust that the light I am will be through my good works the glory of God that they shall behold in the day of his visitation. I hope this message was edifying, brothers and sisters. You don't have to be perfect. 
we can't be perfect. We're in this fallen state, but we can settle in on what land are we in? Where do we, where do we put our flag? What do we claim? What do we disclaim? What do we stand for? What do we stand against? Who is our Redeemer? Who is our Savior? Who is our Creator? If we can get that straight in our minds and in our hearts and in our spirit, The glory when we get there, when he says, come into my rest, faithful servant, enter in, I love you. It's your brother J.D. Nigel, word of truth, have a good rest of the weekend, I'll see you tomorrow, peace and love. I'm out. Wow.